Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, January 6. It's the feast day of the Epiphany, the day when the wise men arrive to give their praise and gifts to the baby Jesus. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, God is our refuge and strength our very help in times of trouble. Alleluia. Psalms 46 and 97, and please recite them with me. Alleluia, God is our refuge and strength, our very help in times of trouble. And therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters roar and foam, and though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her early in the morning. The heathen raged and kingdoms were moved. God spoke and the earth melted. God Most High of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our refuge. Come, behold the works of our God, what desolations God has made on earth. God makes wars to cease in all the earth. God breaks the bow and shatters the spear. God burns the chariot with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. God most high of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our refuge. Alleluia. Alleluia, God most high reigns. Let earth rejoice and let the islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about you. Righteousness and judgment, the foundations of your throne. A fire goes before you and burns up the enemies round about. Your lightnings light up the world, the earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at your presence, at the presence of the God of all the earth. The heavens declare your righteousness and all the people see your glory. Confounded are they that serve carved images, that delight in idols. Worship God, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of your judgments. For you are high above all the earth, you are exalted far above all gods. All that love you hate evil. You preserve the souls of the saints, you deliver them from the hands of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright of heart. Rejoice in God most high, all righteous people. Give thanks for God's holiness. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, God is our refuge and strength, our very help in times of trouble. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 52, beginning at verse 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy, for in plain sight they, be, they see the return of of the Most High to Zion. Bring forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem, for Yahweh has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Most High has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church in the world, for the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, for St. Peter's in search of a vicar, for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, 
that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation, free the world of poverty and famine. For Donald, our president, for Joe, our president-elect, for Doug, our governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the dead, especially Brother Ronald Francis, Brother Robert Patrick, Marjorie and Lloyd and Carol. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. O oh God, most high, be our help in time of trouble. End all bloodshed and violence, and break the machines of war. We exalt you among the nations, and in all the earth, and take our refuge in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Merry Christmas. Happy Epiphany.